7.1 number 19 it's just a graph of velocity uh, versus time so I guess velocity in meters per second and I've got time in seconds and we're supposed to the particle starts at x equals 2 and t equals 0 and then we're trying to figure out where the particle is at the end of the trip and the total distance traveled. All right, so where is the particle if it starts at two on the number line? We're at two, and then we have to figure out the individual areas. So that's two times one is, two divided by two is one, so that's a negative one because it's below the x-axis or the t-axis. Uh, two times one divided by two is a one, two times one is two, 2 times 2 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 1 divided by 2 is 1. Alright, so we have the areas. So let's figure out the position at the end of the trip. So a particle started at 2. That was given to us. Then it went backwards 1. Then it went forward 1. Then it went forward 4 more. So now we're at 6 and then backwards one, so we're at five. So where is it at the end of the trip? It'd be at five uh, meters. And then the total distance traveled. So the x equals two is not important in the distance traveled. We just want to know how far it traveled. So going left or right doesn't matter. So one, two, four, six, seven. So it traveled seven meters.